All right, sweetie, what would you say are your top three requirements for our new home? Um, one would be a updated electrical infrastructure mm. in the house, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, with the hobby equipment that both of us have, um, with the power that they draw, I mean, we don't want breakers popping all over the place and yeah, stuff true. turning off. I mean, you know, true. so we, 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 we can't have that. Yeah, been there, done that. Dedicated hobby space. Mm -hmm. So when I'm painting or, or cutting stuff or breaking in an engine or something like that for my RC hobby, um, that it would be a little bit outside the house so that, mm -hmm. that we could, you know, it wouldn't disturb the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, third, probably um, walking distance to some convenience stores um, access. Um, okay. And then being close enough to, since we do have our vehicle, um, to drive to the grocery store not too far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about you? I would like to have a dedicated hobby space too. Okay. Um, because... We did come here with the full-fledged desire and wish that we would be able to enjoy our hobbies yeah. and whatnot. So I would. So we, that's one of the main reasons we kept my embroidery machine, my uh, my cutter, my heat press, my hat press, all of the things that I use to embellish and decorate uh, clothes, and you know. I would like to keep that and do that. So I would like to have a dedicated hobby space. Sure. Um, next up behind that would probably be, oh, a guest space for the family. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we are aspiring empty nesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I would like the kids to, the kids to be able to come back from college and, and maybe for us to be together at Christmas time or yeah, sure. for family to come and visit. And I'd like for them to have, um, or at least the space be able to accommodate, you know, some room for family to come visit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then my last thing would probably be a rooftop garden. Yeah, you've always wanted one of those. A little sexy rooftop garden situation, you know, <laughs> so that we could have a fantastic view. That would be just the icing on the cake. Yeah, so, that sounds good. Sounds good. So if we can look for those, uh, <laughs> find the house with all those things, then... Yeah. <sighs> write it up. Yeah. Search begins. All right, so let's go get something to eat. Okay.
you see that house? Did you see it? I mean, did you see it? I mean, but but did you see it though? Did you see it though? Did you really see it though? I mean, I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let Lamar give his impressions of the house. Impressions? Yes, sweet. What was your impression? Uh, it's it's an extremely nice house. Um, probably one of the best ones that we've seen to meet our needs um, for hobby and business stuff, especially. I'm not ignoring the fact that the bedrooms, kitchen, and all that. That goes without saying that we want nice bedrooms, nice kitchen, nice bathrooms, and all that. The, the big issue is is the thick basket equipment Our and hobby, hobby stuff, and that that's check. Your, your check. That is the big thing. The rest is already checked off in this house from the. Closets. Closets. Each bedroom has a bathroom. Oh, bath. bath. Um, the kitchen is, is it, it's excellent. The outdoor living space is fantastic. The the uh, outdoor cooking. Um, it's a full kitchen basically outside almost. Uh, as far as the I'm gonna go straight. It's the stove, uh, the the cooking top, cooktop. There is a actual real top outside. Yes. Top. Did, did y'all see the outside kitchen though? The outside kitchen. There's a area manual though. outside. There's showers outside. The pool though. The pool. Did you see the pool? The pool. Uh, there is uh, oh, uh, access to the pool from the master bedroom uh, to step down from the master bedroom down to the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, there's parking for five or six vehicles. You said six. Yeah. Um, uh, as Angela, Angela loves these. It doesn't make a difference to me. She, but it's a big front door. But Lamar needs to get in the camera frame. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm so in the camera frame. There we go. All right. Uh, so there, there is a lot in this house. The only one drawback, and and for me, is the fact that it's on a steep. Hill incline just to get in there. Other than that, um, the house, like tripping that. I'm not tripping about that. It just <laughs> makes it difficult on the vehicle getting in there and for bike riding. It's going to be difficult for bike riding. I'm just, we're just going to, I guess, build up to that steep incline and getting up in there. Mm -hmm. um, but huge uh, office up front, so it's plenty of room for, oh, for Angela's books, her books and things like that. That that, that room could be thick basket. Could be, along with your office stuff. Yeah, so the house had plenty of options. Yes. For and we didn't have to. We didn't have to try to shank something around to make it fit. Make it fit. It it was automatically working. Um, there's space for the dogs to go outside, outside. Gra actual grass for them to do and their did business. did y'all see that it had an orange tree? And an apple an and a an apple manzana. tree and lime and lemon. Lemon, yes. Uh, or lemon. It just said lemon trees. Lemon trees. Uh, so is that, that's lemon? Lemon. Limon. Limon, but the other one is also the... Oh, no, the limon is... Yeah, limon is lime. Okay, see, I don't got myself confused again. Um, so, it had fruit trees out front, uh, security uh, system, security, security cameras. ring camera at the front door, gate at door. At the front gate door. Um, oh, there's, uh, there's a lot um, to the house. Uh, there's a large pantry. Mm, the pantry, the refrigerator. Did y'all see the refrigerator though? large refrigerator in the kitchen. Sorry about this bump. We're going over a cobblestone road right now to just kind of see what's at the end of the street. Uh, the large pantry in the kitchen. There's also another, there's an uh, entertainment room across the from game, room, game room, which is across, room. which crosses over tempered glass, yeah. tempered glass, um, uh, walkways and that's two of them. The lighting, the natural lighting in the house was right. fantastic. So it was fantastic. So it's a it's a beautiful home. Uh, so that's it. I think that's it. I think that's the one. Oh wow. So yeah. I think that's the one guys. I think that's the 
one because it's giving me everything I wanted. I asked for, I would love to have a view. Did you see the view off of the off of the game room? It had a view of the of the city line and, and he said it and you could see the pyramid. You could see the pyramid in that view. That was amazing. Then it also had this awesome game room for entertaining. So if you wanted to have family and friends, and first of all, the bedrooms were humongous. The bedrooms were huge because each of the bedrooms could accommodate a king size bed, each of the rooms. So even if we put two, um, put two double beds in one of the rooms, that's still, that's like doubling your guest capacity yeah. for visitors or whatever. Oh my gosh, that house, that house is fantastic. It's fantastic. It's awesome. It's amazing. So, I mean, you just need to call a realtor and tell her. We were in love. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it's south of uh, Canetero. In the neighborhood in the city called Corregidora. Yeah, uh, so it's not too far for, for me to travel, to go racing. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. Colina de Boss. So, yeah, excellent, excellent house. Um, so, this one, um, I think it, 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 it's the cream rising to the top. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so anyway, um, we're just exploring the neighborhood to see what's around here, guys, um, and uh, we'll kind of let you know later. We gotta call our realtor. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye.